Earth is truly a fortunate planet. Earth sits at just the right distance from the sun, so it's neither too hot nor too cold. Additionally, Earth's robust magnetism guards our air from the sun's intense rays. As a result, Earth has become a blue planet teeming with countless forms of life. However, not all planets in the universe are as fortunate as Earth. Many planets, born under dire circumstances, harbor hell-like surroundings. In this session, we will see six planets with particularly horrifying environments. About 640 light-years away from the Earth, there lies a planet called WASP-76b. This planet is roughly twice the size of Jupiter, being 1.8 times larger, with a mass about 0.92 times that of Jupiter. Also, with an orbital period of 1.8 days, it orbits its host star at a very close distance. Moreover, one side of this planet is perpetually fixed towards the host star. In this planet, the daytime region experiences temperatures exceeding 2,400 degrees Celsius, causing metals such as iron to completely vaporize. The evaporated iron gathers as clouds and moves to the opposite side of the planet, where it falls back down as rain. During this occurrence, the iron rain descends onto the surface as hot liquid, rather than in a solid state. If we were to visit this planet and encounter this rain, our bodies would be pierced through by the scorching liquid. GJ1214b orbits a red dwarf star located approximately 40 light years away from us. This planet is positioned in the habitable zone, maintaining an appropriate distance from its host star. Therefore, scientists believe that this planet could have a significant amount of water. It can be considered a true water world, with a staggering three-quarters of the planet composed of water. Furthermore, a quarter of this planet consists of rocky terrain, with a size roughly 2.5 times that of Earth. However, why is a water-rich Earth-like planet classified as a hellish planet? Unfortunately, this planet's atmosphere is fatally covered by a thick layer of hydrogen and helium. This results in an extreme greenhouse effect, pushing the average surface temperature to over 230 degrees Celsius. Moreover, due to the high pressure on this planet, it is highly likely that the oceans are composed of high-pressure ice or hot viscous substances. If we visit this planet, we would quickly be cooked, much like being in a steamer. Diamonds are highly prized and exquisite gemstones on the Earth. However, on the exoplanet 55 Cancri E, diamonds are nothing more than common lumps of hellish excrement. 55 Cancri E is a planet about 41 light years away from Earth, with a rapid orbital period of 0.7 days around its host star. This proximity to the host star results in a remarkably high surface temperature on this planet. The average temperature on this planet exceeds 2,600 degrees Celsius. The planet's surface remains in a perpetual state of molten lava, with the atmosphere filled with condensed silicates. The silicate condensates reflect the luminous glow of the molten lava, creating a dazzling shimmer in the dark night sky. However, be careful not be captivated by the enchanting sparkle of the night sky. The scorching surface of this planet boils with molten lava, as previously mentioned. If you ever visit this planet, the first thing you would see is lava bubbling up in a very bizarre form. The bizarre planet HD 80606b is located approximately 190 light years away from Earth. It is a gas planet similar to Jupiter, and its appearance exudes a strong infernal atmosphere. HD 80606b, for times Jupiter's mass, orbits its star in about 111 days. 
while it has a very favorable orbital period compared to the previously mentioned planets, the real issue lies elsewhere. The fatal issue with this planet is its highly eccentric orbit, resembling that of a comet. The eccentricity of this planet is 0.9336, which is very similar to Halley's Comet at 0.9671. This planet is at a maximum distance of approximately 120 million kilometers from its host star and comes as close as about 4.5 million kilometers during its orbit. Considering that Mercury is about 58 million kilometers away from the Sun, this gives you some idea how close this planet is getting to its host star. Due to its extreme orbit, the planet's surface temperature can rapidly rise from around 500 degrees to approximately 1,200 degrees within hours. If we were to spend a year on this planet, we would observe the host star, which was once a faint light in the sky, suddenly growing 30 times larger than the sun in an instant. The planet PSOJ 318.5-22 is a floating planet. The planet PSOJ 318.5-22 drifts freely in space without orbiting a star. On this planet, the concept of day does not exist. It remains in eternal darkness. This planet is covered in dense clouds made of hot dust and iron. Despite the absence of a central star, this planet's surface temperature exceeds 800 degrees. The cause of these clouds on the planet is still debated, with various hypotheses proposed. Shortly after its formation, it might have been expelled by gravitational forces or there could be an unknown cause we are unaware of. Currently, this planet emits a faint glow and continues to drift aimlessly through space. The planet LHS 3844b has a size similar to Earth. This planet revolves around a red dwarf star with a period of approximately 11 hours. One side of the planet is permanently locked towards the central star, resulting in eternal day and night. The temperature difference between day and night on this planet is extremely large. Daytime temperatures on this planet reach around 765 degrees dropping to minus 250 degrees at night. The nighttime regions of this planet are surprisingly more active than the hot daytime regions. The daytime regions lack any volcanoes, but the nighttime regions are filled with numerous fiery volcanoes, shining brightly. If we visit this planet, we'll either burn or freeze to death due to its extreme temperature.